Ladies and gentlemen, our matchup tonight is the parent plus loan versus the private student loan. Woo. All right. So let's say you're helping your kid put together their college financing plan. And maybe you want to take on some student loan debt yourself to help them pay for college. Or maybe you just don't want your kid taking out any loans in their name just yet. Whatever the case may be, two of your main parent student loan options are the parent plus loan and private student loans. But which one is better for you? To help you figure that out, in this video, I'm going to put the parent plus loan side by side with private student loans, comparing interest rates, repayment terms, benefits, whatever else there may be, to help you figure out which one is better for you and your financial situation. And if you're watching this video on LendyDu.com and you're already sick of me and this video, you can check out our recommendations for the best parent student loans directly below this video. Just scroll down, it's right there. And for everyone else that wants to stick with me and this video, let's go. Okay, so I lied. Before we actually go and get underway, you need to know that at LendyDU, we partner with financial institutions like private student loan lenders and receive compensation from them when we send traffic to their respective websites. And in this video, any private student loan terms and rates you may see derive directly from our partners. First, with a Parent PLUS loan, the borrower is the biological or adoptive parent, or in some cases, the step-parent of a dependent undergraduate student enrolled at least half-time at an eligible school. With a private student loan, the borrower can be either the parent or the student. There are some student loan lenders out there that have created a private student loan specific for parents, where eligibility is based on the parent's credit and repayment is the parent's obligation. And when it comes to who the lender is, it's the federal government for a Parent PLUS loan and a private student loan lender for a private student loan. In terms of credit requirements, a parent must have no adverse credit history with a Parent PLUS loan to be eligible. With a private student loan, the borrower must typically have good credit to qualify, but some lenders don't factor credit as heavily as others. For college students with limited to no credit, having a creditworthy cosigner can alleviate some of a lender's concerns about repayment. Interest rate types. All Parent PLUS loans come with a fixed interest rate. Private student loans can either have a fixed or variable interest rate. And what about what actual interest rates are looking like. For all Parent PLUS loans dispersed on or after July 1st, 2020, and before July 1st, 2021, the interest rate is 5.30%. Right now, for private student loans, fixed interest rates are ranging from 3.34% to 13.91%, while variable rates are running from 1.02% to 12.37%. And for private student loans, the interest rate you get is based on credit history. Almost always, the worse the credit history, the worse the interest rate. When it comes to repayment term lengths, Parent PLUS loans can either be 10 or 25 years, depending on the payment plan, while private student loans can be 5, 7, 10, 12, or 15 years. In terms of how much you can borrow, with Parent PLUS loans, the loan limit is up to the cost of attendance after other financial aid is applied, while loan amounts on private student loans can be as low as $1,000 to as high as 100% of the school certified cost of attendance. How about fees? All Parent PLUS loans dispersed on or after October 1st, 2020, and before October 1st, 2021, have an origination fee of 4.228%, while with private student loans, fees really vary on a lender by lender basis, but can be things like a $50 late fee if a payment is late. Some private lenders have no fees. With Parent PLUS loans, a parent can only have a cosigner if they themselves have adverse credit history. With private student loans, most lenders give you the ability to apply with a cosigner unless it's a parent-specific student loan, which is supposed to be an alternative to a cosigned private student loan. And when it comes to in-school repayment options, your Parent PLUS loan options range from full deferral to partial or even full payments. For private student loans, the range is also wide going from full deferral to interest only payments to fixed $20 or $25 payments to full payments. In terms of a grace period, Parent PLUS loans have a six month grace period after your child leaves school or graduates. Private student loans also usually come with a grace period that will vary on a lender by lender basis. When it comes to soft credit checks, you cannot do a soft credit check with a Parent PLUS loan, hard credit checks only. 
In comparison, some private student loan lenders give you the ability to conduct a soft credit check to check your rates before applying. However, once you apply, a hard credit check will also be run. And finally, benefits. Parent Plus loans actually don't come with all of the usual benefits of federal student loans, like income-driven repayment plans, but they still do have robust protections, like being able to place loans in forbearance for up to five years and potentially getting student loan forgiveness. In the private market, benefits will vary lender to lender, but sometimes are things like getting a 0.25% rate reduction if you set up monthly auto pay or being able to skip one payment per year. Thanks for watching everybody. And please drop a comment if you have any questions about parent student loans. And if you wanna learn more, but hear less from me, just check out the links I left in the YouTube description. Or if you're watching this video on lendu.com, just scroll down. There's a ton of info there, including specific lenders. And finally, just subscribe to the Lendu YouTube channel. Why wouldn't you? Just hit that button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Brown from Lendy to You. Peace.